Hello and welcome to this overview of how you might use um, Google Docs to store documents and to share them with other people. So let's begin. Um, let's say that I'm working on a document here. I just have some um, things that I've cut and pasted from um, various documents and I want to save this and I'm going to save it onto my desktop. I'll give it a name, save as and I'll put um, article titles. All right, and I'm going to save this now to my desktop because it's convenient. So it's article titles. I'll save it. And now I want to share it with other people. I want, uh, let's say you're in the lab, you don't have a flash drive, and you want to make sure that you're saving. Um, your work and you want to share it with me later whatever the situation you can click on Google Docs of course you can also just go through your um, email account um, your Gmail account your Hawkmail account to do this also but you do Google Docs click on here and you will see there is um, your email so you want to type in your email account and I do not have a Hawkmail account but I have a Gmail account let's see if I can sign in to my Google Docs and you notice like there's my mail um, right up here so I can even switch back and forth between my mail and then back to my documents alright so I did not create this um, one thing you can always do, if I can move the screen over a little bit, I can create a document using Google Docs and it has many of the same um, features uh, in terms of word processing as Word but not quite as many. So you can always begin typing in Google Doc, especially um, in a testing situation where you want automatic saves and you would just do that and then begin um, typing into your document and so forth. All right, but let's get out of here and go back. I, I've been working in a word processing program, so I'm going to upload. This is what I would do, probably most likely, is, um, got a lot of silly games on there, article titles, I think that was our document, and I'm going to start uploading it and it, there it is it uploaded very nicely now um, at this point you say oh, gee I'd like to to share this with Professor Rigolino so you would click on here and these um, tabs will open up once you've clicked on the document and this is the important tab the share tab because this is the only way I'm going to be able to open it and your uh, name will come up but these are the people that you want to share it with. So let's say you want to share this essay with me. You would send it to my New Pulse account. And there may be other people you want to share it with. Maybe people in a group that you're working with and you do share and save. And now I'm going to get an email and done. And now I'm going to get an email saying that this has been shared. And I can click on it and, um, and read what you've written and I can download it. So I hope that this overview has been helpful in terms of showing you how you know you might use Google Docs. Again, um, in your uh, Hawkmail account, you can just switch back and forth between your Gmail and then um, your document. So it's kind of it's really very seamless. Um, but the big thing to remember is, when you want to share a document, you know, click on it, make share more than one document, and then click there, and then type in the people. It could be more than one person. Um, type in uh, those person's email addresses. All right. Well, I hope this has been helpful, and that um, you know we'll all get used to using Google Docs. Some people maybe have been using it before but it looks like it's um, actually fairly easy. Alrighty.